The purple reset is a super cool mechanic where you take the ball in midair and simultaneously do a purple shot and a flip reset, leaving you with a flip at the end. You can then use that flip to follow up with more touches, or you can use it to speed up your recovery. The only question is, how the hell do you even do it? Like, okay, here's one, and another one. Nope, why didn't that work? Here we go again. Not nope, can't do it. Like, what the actual f***? One week later. Okay, so now that one week ago Moggs has embarrassed himself, check this out. Boom, there's one. Boom, there's another. Moggs is full crack mode. As you can see, I've gotten much better at this mechanic from just a week of practice. And now I want to share everything I learned with you. So sit back, relax, and let's learn how the hell to do the purple reset. This mechanic is actually doable in four different situations. The first three are all relatively simple, those being on the ceiling, on the walls, and on the ground. All of these just involve sandwiching the ball between the bottom of your car and the surface of the field, and doing a purple shot. Which means you can do it almost every single time. So because all of these are so easy, for the purpose of this video we're just going to ignore all three, and instead we're going to focus on the fourth and most difficult situation, midair. Here's what doing the purple reset looks like in midair. To do it, all you need to do is put the bottom of your car as close to the ball as possible, let go of joystick and do a purple shot. In the most basic terms, the distance from the ball is the most important factor. If you're too far away, you'll just do a purple shot without the reset. To actually get the reset, your car and the ball need to be touching. But this amount of touching isn't enough, you need to be here. When the ball's sitting on the ground like this, getting this close is relatively easy. However, when it's flying through the air, it's extremely difficult to do consistently. However, the good news is that I've spent a bunch of time in freeplay looking really closely at this mechanic, and I figured out the number one most important thing needed to do it every single time. Okay, so the most important thing to doing this mechanic is... Boost reset. When you want to do a purple reset, you also need to do a boost reset. And that's because the positioning required to do both mechanics in midair is exactly the same. One, you need to be as close to the ball as possible. Two, you need to match the speed of the ball. And three, the ball needs to be close to the center of the underside of your car. If you have all three of these ingredients, boom, there's your boost reset, and boom, there's your purple reset. Now, don't get me wrong, achieving all three of these things simultaneously with the ball flying through the air is not easy at all. And therefore, we need a lot of practice. So let's talk about how to practice it. The most important piece of advice I can give you to practice this mechanic is to go into free play and turn off the unlimited boost option. That way you'll be able to see exactly when you get a boost reset and use that as a guide for doing your purple resets. So just pop the ball up to yourself any way you want and then try to achieve all three ingredients. If you're struggling to do this, which yeah, me too bro, it's honestly just practice and repetition. You need to repeat it over and over until you find a method that works for you. The simplest way that I personally use is just to use my joystick to flick my car forward really quickly whilst boosting to push my car into position. And then once you get confident enough with single purple resets, I recommend practicing follow-ups as well. So go for your boost reset, then when you're in the right position, do your purple reset and immediately use your flip to follow the ball and try to score a goal.
And that's it guys, that's all the info I've got for you guys today on the purple reset. This is such a cool mechanic that I've personally often found myself doing accidentally and I really wanted to learn how to do it intentionally. And now I can kind of more often than before. And I really hope this video helps you guys do the same. And as usual, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, and check out my second channel if you want to see me play games live, like Rocket League, Sideswipe, and other random games. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other gaming content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.